Hmm. A letter from Professor McGonagall. Dear Uhtred, Mr. Filch has brought to my attention several peculiar pumpkins appearing around the castle grounds. He suspects these may be the work of Peeves. Should you encounter any such pumpkins, kindly refrain from interacting with them and report the matter to a member of staff at once. Your sincerely, Minerva McGonagall. Oh! Huh, it's you. Didn't see you there. Mm-hmm. Well, it's probably because of all these pumpkins. <laughs> there are just so many of them. Good old engorgement charm, yeah? <gasps> Gotta admit, they look grand, eh? I suppose so, but aren't they a bit too big for the corridors? Besides, <laughs> Professor McGonagall did say in the notice that... Ah, but I'm thinking that keeping them indoors will stop the slugs from getting at them, like last year. And anyway, they brighten up the place a bit, don't they? <laughs> there you are. I've been working on an autumn palette for my next plain air trip. But the blues and purples just don't feel right. Could you... Hmm... Merlin's beard. It looks like Hagrid is bringing his pumpkin display inside hmm. the castle this year. So it <laughs> seems. Perhaps you'd like to paint them? It's certainly an unusual sight. Oh! I am not sure. They seem a bit eerie to me. Uh, eerie? I don't quite see it. Uh, maybe it's because you haven't heard the scary rumor that's uh, been going around. Mm -mm. I think I have seen enough pumpkins for a while. But your idea is lovely. Hmm. Maybe I will go outside and paint the trees instead. I have never seen Lottie this spooked before. Maybe I should look into that rumor tomorrow. Hi. Anything exciting in today's papers? Sorry, are you okay? What's <sighs> got you so invested? Not really, just an incident huh? with the night bus. You mean the strange purple bus that tears around faster than any triple-decker should? <sighs> Not surprised, really. What shocks me is that <clears throat> nothing has happened before now. This was more than just any accident. Word is, <clears throat> everyone involved was properly rattled. Ah, <sighs> No way. What happened? Whoa. Nobody's sure yet. They're still investigating. <clears throat> Thanks, but no thanks. I think I've had enough pumpkins for a while. Hmm. Funny. Someone else said the exact same thing recently. Who was it again? <laughs> Kev! Uhtred! You're here too! What's going on? Mm-hmm. Not much. Just chatting about some night bus incident in the Daily Prophet. Oh! Whoa, what happened? Ah! Speculation, really. Nothing solid. Hey, didn't you need help with Quidditch practice today, Robin? Wow. Yeah, that is why I came to get you. Guess we'll catch up at dinner, Uhtred. Uh, Robin is surprisingly easily spooked. Let's keep this over-the-top article between us, yeah? Yeah! Kev! Have you seen my servicing kit anywhere? Mm-hmm. Coming, Robin. Hmm. Now I am curious. Kevin could have at least left his copy of the Daily Prophet. Didn't someone mention pumpkins recently? Oh. Hang on. I think I know just the person to ask. Hi. Ah, there you are, Lottie. Hi. The forest never fails to inspire a trid. Are you here to enjoy the view as well? <gasps> Actually, I wanted to ask if you know anything about the night bus incident. Kevin brought it up. And I remembered you mentioning pumpkins oh. earlier. I thought you'd have heard by now, Uhtred. Everyone's been talking about mm -hmm. it. Kevin was just about to tell me, but Robin interrupted. Mm -hmm. All right, here goes. You might want to brace yourself. It's a bit intense. Mm -hmm. Before we start, you can't talk about the night bus without mentioning Ernie Prang. You know who he is, right? Wow, huh? Yeah, the night bus driver. He must have some serious skills to handle such a legendary job. Exactly. The story I am about to tell is rumored to have happened to Ernie, causing the recent incident. It was the night of the 25th of October, 
and the night bus, speeding up through the outskirts of London, had its passengers fast asleep. Then out of nowhere, something flashed across the road. Given the time of year, Ernie thought it must be some prank of Jinx, and he brought the bus to a stop. He looked around but saw nothing out of place. So he woke Stan Shunpeak, the conductor, out of a nap, and sent him out to check. Sleepy-eyed and confused, Stan could not find anything unusual either, so Ernie decided to move on, leaving his suspicions behind. But just as the bus started moving again, something rolled into the middle of the road. Uh, something did seem to roll past, didn't it? Ernie squinted through his thick glasses and saw a plump, shiny pumpkin sitting right in the middle of the road. As he wondered where it came from, he glanced in the rearview mirror and saw something truly terrifying. Hundreds of pumpkins bouncing after the night bus. Wow, huh? That sounds ridiculous. Did Ernie actually say this happened? Well, he did not exactly deny it. People are saying they are haunted pumpkins that only show up around Halloween. Not sure what caused it, but it does sound like a truly scary sight. I can sleep when I'm in awe. Pumpkins can't run on their own. Why don't you look for a change? Oh, it's you, Winifred. For a second, I thought that the pumpkin was moving on its own. I take it you have heard about the night bus incident? Hmm. Oh. Though, I cannot figure out why Kevin and Lottie are so hesitant to talk about it. <laughs> Honestly, it's more funny than scary to me. Maybe Ernie just needs new glasses if he is seeing pumpkins chasing the night bus. Sounds like you have not heard the full story then. That is not even the scary part. Huh. Wait, there is more to it? Oh, definitely. But are you sure you are ready to hear it? Absolutely. <gasps> By the time they were almost in Northampton, Ernie finally felt relieved. The pumpkins had disappeared. That is when he started hearing Stan muttering in his ear. Ernie? Ernie? The muttering wore on Ernie's nerves until he finally turned around to see what was going on with his usually impressionable friend. And there it was, a giant carved pumpkin right in his face. From the jagged slit that served as its mouth came Stan's voice. Why did not you stop the bus, Ernie? We were waiting for you. An eerie green glow shone from the pumpkin's eye holes, leaving Ernie trembling in fear, and... And that is my take on the night bus incident. People are really getting creative with these stories, you know? Phew! You really gave me a fright there, Winifred. What is with the pumpkin, by the way? Oh, it is the perfect size to wear on my head. Uh, you are going to wear that? <laughs> with all the spooky stories going around, I reckon I could give Cassandra and Ivy a proper fright. Just for some Halloween fun. Could it be another prank by that same Slytherin girl from before? Mm -hmm. Looks like Winifred isn't the only one making the most of this rumor. Hey. Who is that? Show yourself. Oh. Winifred, is that you again? Was the last pumpkin not spooky enough? Hello Uhtred. Wigby was just taking this pumpkin to the kitchens to make one-of-a-kind pumpkin pies for the Halloween feast. Mm -hmm. I will be sure to keep an eye out for them at the feast. Need a hand with that? Uhtred is always so kind to Wigby. The others did not want anything to do with the pumpkins. But Wigby is different. Wigby knows the pies will be a hit. Uh... Why don't the other house elves want anything to do with pumpkins? Surely it is because of the rumors, right? I mean, Pumpkin-Headed Stan is not all that scary. Pumpkin-Head? Perhaps the ending of the story has not been revealed to Uhtred yet. Uh? It hasn't. What's the ending then? Ah. Well, here is how it goes. Hmm. Master Prang, quick for his age, whipped out his wand, overpowered the strange pumpkin and shoved it right off the night bus. Being the dedicated driver he is, Master Prang sped off to the next destination. <sighs> The bus went quiet, too quiet. Oh. After a while, 
Master Prang noticed something, apart from the low hum of the old engine. There was not a sound of the bus. No shifting of luggage, no snoring, not a peep from the passengers. Worried and properly spooked, Master Prang looked to the back of the bus where the brass bedsteads were, and there he saw a single pumpkin in each bed, plump, smooth and silent. All his passengers, they were gone. Wigby needs to get back to the kitchen now, quickly. Goodbye, Utrid. Ah, uh, Robin, I thought you were tied up with Quidditch practice. pitch. Kev might notice I am missing any minute. Wait, but didn't you ask to meet here? Is everything all right with Kevin? <sighs> Kevin's been acting odd lately, keeping secrets. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Uh, well... <sighs> I knew it! I sensed it back in the Great Hall. Tell me, what is he hiding? But he made me promise. <sighs> Please! You would not let a friend stay in the dark, would you? Ah. All right. I suppose I can tell you. And that is the end. A pumpkin in each bed. <gasps> no! That is terrifying. The night bus, overtaken by haunted pumpkins. Oh, there you are. Kevin's been searching everywhere for you, Robin. What's got her so spooked? No! I don't think I'm ever going to ride the night bus. Or any bus, for that matter. Uh... Sorry, I told her one of those spooky stories going around. It seems to have unsettled her. Oh, a spooky story, eh? Hogwarts is always brimming with them. No! Kevin... I knew what you have been keeping from me. The pumpkins. Ah. Take it easy, Robin. They are just rumors. Huh? Rumors? What rumors? Oh. Well, they say the night bus is haunted by pumpkins. Uh. Huh. Didn't spot any haunted pumpkins when I was on that night bus. Must have been the 24th. <laughs> Wait, now, maybe it was the 25th. Slept the whole way, didn't hear a thing. I would reckon I would notice if pumpkins took over the bus. <sighs> you were on the night bus that night? I, and I was not alone. Yes, yeah, see, I was accompanied <laughs> by these charming little fellas. Just ordinary pumpkins. You were right, Kev. I should have stayed at practice. Then slugs destroyed my pumpkins, so I hurried off to fetch more from the countryside. Mm -hmm. Got a heap of giant ones. So many, I had to bring them back on the night bus late at night. Oh, I didn't mean to spook anyone. Er, sorry about that. <laughs> well, at least we have relieved there are no real haunted pumpkins. <laughs> Don't worry yourself, no pumpkin's gonna harm you. Moved all the ones from inside the castle back outside. They were too big for the corridors anyhow. Ah. Wait, you didn't place any pumpkins in the corridors? But I saw you move them inside the castle earlier. Oh, what are you talking about? I never brought any pumpkins inside. didn't bring those pumpkins inside, then who did it? Ah! Are you okay? And thus, our tale concludes, with a gracious gesture to those of you who have been spellbound by this spine-tingling story. However, I feel compelled to share a kernel of sagacity with you all. 
within the very core of every tall tale lies a fragment of truth, much like the seeds nestled within a jack-o'-lantern's grinning face. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.